resolution 2560 um, the, the, the two semi-final game matches were played almost at the exact same time. So thank you for Soup, uh, to Soup for stepping in and casting the games alive. So we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the, 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 um, the recorded games here. So game one is a very peculiar looking, whoa, a very peculiar looking, me we're on Mega Random here. We're on Mega Random, but this looks like a high hunt oasis. What in the world? Well, okay, so let's introduce let's introduce the players and then we'll we'll look at the map a little bit. We have Kfoth up here on this top on this top side playing Gaia. Okay. In the pocket, we have Theris. Theris is Tiger Boss. Theris is Tiger Boss. Um, so Tiger Boss playing Kronos. And then we have Grass and Groom down here on the bottom side playing Aranos. Okay. So over on the over on the Egyptian side, we have Chemo playing Ra here in the blue. Okay, Squash here in the pocket playing Set. And Mariano playing Isis here in the green on the right-hand side. So on the right-hand side, we have Isis against Aranos. Isis against Aranos. On the top-hand side, we got the Boomers. We've got Ra against, um, we got Ra against Gaia. And then this is kind of funny. And then we have kind of the, the, uh, the, the awkward ones. You know, we got Set and Kronos. <laughs> the awkward ones there in the pocket. You know, this is kind of funny, actually, because Kronos can do some, sh uh, not Shifting Sands, but what's it called? Um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? He can do the, the time shift bullshit, which is, you know, kind of some, some, an easy way for Kronos to get to the other side of the map and do damage. Similarly, Squash the Set player can do a, um, do some shifting sands bull crap over onto the other side so it'll be interesting to see who um really what these guys decide to do if they go for some you know some cheesy stuff etc um anyways yeah so we can you can already see starting off thank you for the follow ice bear thank you for the follow um did you know that speaking of ice bears did you know the polar bears are like the deadliest bears out there makes you think um anyways so we have we have giraffes, um, four starting giraffes, which is really killer. And then after that, where is squash going? Squash going on to gold. I'm just going to go look down here, down around the little food spots around the map. we got a whole bunch of water buffalo down there in between the back town centers. Um, nice whole bunch of water buffalo back for both players. Five, five patches each. There's some berries. There's some berries. There's some pigs. Okay. Okay, so this is not an ultra high hunt map like uh, Marsh, but it's definitely a lot higher mump. Well, it's yeah, it's a higher hunt map compared to standard Oasis. It, it looks like Oasis with extra animals, right? The great starting hunt. Great starting hunt. Nice pack of water buffalo. Decent amount of pigs as well. Like look how many pigs that uh, Squash has, for example. He's got um, 12 pigs. 12 pigs, 11 pigs for chemo. <laughs> Mariano's got seven, but he could find, you know, these three back here if he were to scout that. Okay. We have, we got the boom going for all. This is peculiar. Oh, 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 oh. Grass goes, grass goes for the forward town center, but Mariano sees it and he sends his pharaoh forward to stop it from going up. That's a little blunder from a ra uh, from grass and groom right there. The obelisk is right there. I'm not sure if grass sees it or not. Let's go to his point of view. He does see the obelisk right there, but he goes for the town center anyway. Interesting. Okay. We also have, we got there, uh, we got Tiger Boss also going for, interesting, we also got Tiger Boss going for a town center as well. Okay, we have an Eclipse. Why do we have an Eclipse? Aha, we have an Eclipse to prevent Eclipse. If you guys don't know, Eclipse blocks all other god powers. So we have the, um, we have the Veil Rush by Squash. We have the Veil Rush by Squash. The Eclipse to block any um, shockwave, any, you know, bullcrap like that. Very nice. Going after Grass and Grimm's Villagers. Brutal, baby. Brutal. 
brutal, brutal, brutal. So Grass and Grim gets kicked off the forward town center. He loses his main town center. And he, if he's not careful, he might lose a couple of citizens as well. Oh boy. Oh, really boy. We got Gaia taking a forward town center. We got Ra taking a back town center. Ice is going for a back town center. And then the Witchman Buckets afterward. Interesting. Squash is technically going for... Well, I mean, yeah, Squash is going to have a second town center. Oh, Squash is going to have a second town center with the giraffes, the water buffalo right there, plus all of those uh, uh, pigs. Are you kidding me? Nine pigs plus the one that died right there. Nine pigs right there for Squash. Plus his 12? Yeah, plus his 12 in the base. That is brutal, dude. That is ultra brutal. Bummer, man. Big bummer. Big time bummer. Okay. Thank you for the follow. Truth. Thanks for the follow, man. Thank you for the follow. There goes the citizen. Grass needs to be ultra careful, man. If he loses, he's got, what, four citizens left over? Is that a temple going up? It is. Okay, going for a back town center way back here. All righty then. Yeah, he needs to be very careful, man. Otherwise, if he loses all of his citizens, he's just toast straight up. Okay. I like this. I like this from Squash. I mean, by all means, Tiger Boss sees it. He sees it. Going for military barracks, counter barracks. Okay. Again, Tiger Boss has the two town centers. Kvoth. <gasps> okay, Kvoth. Kvoth is going to get his second town center. It's taken him some time. It's taken him some time, but he does get it. Oh, <gasps> Chemo shifts away the automatons and the Terma, which gives him an opportunity to send his Pharaoh Priest and Wajidin to maybe hit the... Nope, town center goes up. Woo! Town center does go up. Whew. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice by... Um, Bots to get that up. It was a good idea by it was a good idea by Kimo um, to shift away the the units there. <laughs> okay, so Kvoth tries to trap he tries to trap the units in <laughs> with his with his Gaia Force. That was hilarious. That was a really good idea. That's a cool idea. He doesn't actually get it, but that's a nice idea right there. Okay, third town center going up for Mariano. He's just booming away, nice and happy, no problem. Okay. Grass's base is demolished. Okay. Oh, Grass actually has a couple of uh, a couple of citizens over here. I didn't see these over here. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And yeah, he's able to sneak over here, take these Zara or take these water buffalo, gold mine there as well. Hopefully Grass and Grim is gonna drop a manor here, man. Hopefully Grass and Grim drops a manor, otherwise, oh boy. If those get caught, oh boy. Oh really boy. Okay. Okay, Grass is onto a town center, so he's recovering. He is up to Prometheus as well. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. So you know, since Grass and Grim is a Ranos, if he's able to just drop. Okay, so he's going for counter barracks, military barracks. That's an interesting one. I, I halfway, I halfway expected, I halfway expected him to go drop double, double counter barracks and go for mass terma. That way he only has to focus on a little bit of food for citizen production and then just food and food and gold for, um, Anyways, then he just has to focus on Terma, Terma production. They're fast Aranos units, so he can get in, do some really nice damage. Terma do pretty well against Classical Army of Atlantean. Um, so yeah, not too shabby. Plus Tiger Boss is in here going, you know, with the with Prometheans and everything. That kind of complicates the army, uh, the units that Squash actually has to make here, so. That is a lot of units there. Holy smokes. Hopefully Squash, it'll be interesting to see whether or not Squash can keep this position. We do see we do see Mariano dropping a couple of barracks forward. That's nice. Again, he's on that 3 TC boom. The the um the Egyptians are gonna have an excellent economy. 
Of course, Ra doing the standard 2TC, uh, the standard 2TC stuff. Mariano has three town centers by all means. Squash has a ton of pigs and everything around this, you know, town center here. Uh, but he's getting pushed off of his TC. Squash is actually losing all of his villagers here. All of his villagers that he produced from this TC. <laughs> Everything that he, um, that he, all of his vills that he brought to take the town center. He's not going to lose everything, but he's losing a lot here. Wow. I did not expect this at all. I did not expect this at all, man. Wow. Okay, okay, so, you know, maybe Grass and Groom, maybe a Shockwave would be good to get these villagers, stop these villagers, make sure he picks off all of them. Kimo does not have Shifting Sands. Kimo, Kimo already used his Shifting Sands. Kimo's going way back here to take a Town Center. Okay. Kvoth, I haven't focused on Kvoth. I haven't really focused on Kvoth. He's got going for a third Town Center. Um, he's got a bunch of mainly Terma out, doing a little bit of harassment here and there. Wow, that is a ballsy Migdal right there. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Town center's down. That is a little bit surprising. A little bit surprising. I suppose Mariano. Mariano's up through. Ooh, Mariano's up through Neftis. He maybe could have. Actually, he could not. He could have used Ancestors to potentially save this spot for Squash. Bummer for Squash, man. Bummer for Squash. So that means Grass and Groom. Grass and Groom's role right now is to just catch up and play the role of harassment. I'm not crazy about Grass going for Prometheans. I think that he should probably invest his popu military population into Terma and Mermelo. They're fast, right? They're fast, so he can just go and abuse and harass, etc. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'm changing. I'm actually maybe changing my mind right right now because, yeah, Mariano has walled up nicely. He's got this TC right here, which blocks that, you know, running through there, kind of. He's walled up nicely. So it's actually going to be a little bit difficult for these guys to um, to actually push in and get into the back of the base of Egyptian and do a lot of damage. So I'm actually changing my mind. Perhaps I like the all this Promethean spam. They can maybe just 2v1 Mariano here. Nice. Oh, snap! Deconstruction on the Migdal. Mariano did not drop a monument here to save his Migdal. Dude, that is, that is, when you're not playing on a water map and Bit Cronus is in the game, that is something that is easy to forget. And it does force an Ancestors here by Mariano. But still, look at all those Terma, man. There's a decent number of heroes here to snipe those, to snipe those Ancestors. So the Ancestors is decent, but still. All those Terma can just get in, snipe those Chariot Archers, no problemo. Getting the Pharaoh is going to be sick. The mercenary cavalry. That's actually a really good idea since there's a whole lot of um, there's a whole lot of, of terma there. Very nice. Okay, looks like the Migdal's gonna eventually go up, but still, that was a nice little counterplay there by the Atlantean team. Very nice little counterplay. Here in just a minute, I'm gonna go look at Kvoth and Chemo. We haven't really paid attention to Kvoth and Chemo over on the left hand side, but I want to see I want to see what this turns into if Mariano can keep this um, can keep this uh, which bucket up. And Squash gets up Neptis, and he uses um, his own ancestors. That forces the, the retreat from uh, Grass and uh, Tiger Boss. And okay, so the Migdal stays up. He's back on the gold mine. Nice. Okay, nice. Now let's go back over to. Let's go back over to Kvoth. Kvoth used Trader. He's up through Rhea. He used Trader on a Scarab. So between a Scarab and maybe one or two Behemoths, he could actually get a nice little push going on here. Some Automatons as well. Remember, Kimo is raw, so. It's not like he has a good counter to um, <clears throat> to myth units until until Osiris comes in with Osiris and um, mummies. He did go up through Rhea, but where's the behemoth? There's the behemoth. He's a slow boy. Let's go, buddy. Okay. Okay, the Citadel. The Citadel is gonna... That's a nice play by Kimo there, using the Citadel. And he is up through Osiris. Nice. He is up through Osiris, so... There is an unclaimed TC back here. Kvoth could maybe get into a 4-3 TC position. Grass and Groom is retaking his main TC, so he'll be on to 2. Tiger Boss is on to 3, plus a market. Potential, um, potential Mythic play here. Okay. Squash is, squash is just barely on to 2 Town Centers, man. That was brutal. 
the everything that he lost right here that was brutal it was initially brutal for grass and groom but oh boy did they clap back hard nice squash is in a bad position <coughs> excuse me since grass here's the thing since grass and groom has those active mobile units of aranos it's a lot easier for him to get into this game and actually have an impact on this game compared to squash was playing set right the ancestors was good the ancestors over here was good but still it's just going to take him a long time okay it's a pretty good push here man pretty good push the behemoth is you know having a seizure over there on that right hand side i think the chemo is going to be able to hold just fine right here he's almost up mythic his pharaoh is healthy right his pharaoh is healthy three town centers uh i don't see a trade route starting for chemo okay there's i don't know where the market is I'm sorry if this is hard to look at. I'm looking for the market. I don't really see the market for Kima, but whatever. We know it's there. We know it's there. Still want TG Tourney version 2 without the forced one of each Civ rule, says Rifing. Well, that's the whole, that's like the whole trope of the tournament. So you're just asking for a normal team game tourney. Okay. <clears throat> does Kimo have a Siege Works? He does. He has at least one. Very nice. Okay, so he should... He's going for Siege Tower. I would like to see the Catapults. Definitely want to see the Catapults with Son of Osiris. Okay, and there's, of course, the Mummy against the Behemoth. Nice. Okay, so we have Siege Tower, Chariot Archers, Son of Osiris over here. I'm going to go look over on the right-hand side. Um, go back over to this right-hand side. We got Atlas for Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss is going to have a fourth town center here pretty darn soon. What is this? What? How did this even happen? Somehow Mariano got a whole bunch of chariots into the backside of the Atlanteans? I don't even know how this happened, but okay. There's a bunch of Terma there. That's not too bad, man. That's not too bad. The team at Terma are only medium, but still. You know, they're they're pretty good against uh, the chariots. They're pretty good against the chariots. And the, and, and they're, uh, you know, the classical age unit, so nice. Oh, 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 oh. What, did I miss it? What did I miss? Did I miss something? I missed Vortex. Where did he use Vortex? Where did he use Vortex? Oh, duh, Vortex. I was thinking implode. Oh, Kimo may be going to lose the son of Osiris here. Can he get to the tower? Get to the tower. Get to the tower. That's my Arnold Schwarzenegger um, impression. Ooh, that's about two thirds of it. Uh, son of Osiris did. Yeah, look at that. Maybe even three quarters of Son of Osiris dead, bro. Kimo has been fairly unsuccessful with his with his Son of Osiris play in this tournament, fam. Okay. Is that another deconstruction? Deconstruction on the Migdol, man. That's brutal. I'm telling you, you don't think about it. You don't think about it when you're playing against Kronos on the land map, right? If 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 Kronos is crushing, okay. If Kronos is on water, okay, you think about the, the deconstruction. But if it if you're not in a situation like that, it's like, oh no problem. Problem. Okay. This is starting to look pretty good over here for Tiger Boss. He's got these medium destroyers, which are not super strong as medium destroyers, but they do. They have such high pierce armor, man. Such high pierce armor that this main army here from uh, Mariano, it's not really scary at all. It's not really scary at all. Saw that little wall in the minimap. I just wanted to check it real quick. Yeah, the destroyer spam is sick, man. I think the destroyer spam is sick. If he can get some, if maybe if let's see, grass and groom, grass and groom just got up through Thea. So if grass and groom can maybe get some Arcus out or Tiger Boss himself to counter the Axeman, bro, the the destroyer, the destroyer spam could be pretty sick here. It could be pretty sick. Sick. There's still this unclaimed TC back here. Looks like Foth is going for it just now. So we're gonna have four town centers, four town centers, two town centers, plus a Titan Gate, dude. Okay, Squash is back into the game finally. Squash is back into the game. Not looking terribly strong, but still. It's something, right? It's something. Oops, sorry. There's the catapults. There's the catapults. Is Son of Osiris dead? I think Son of Osiris might be dead.
Arnold who? <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Isn't that how you say it, like in German? Schwarzenegger. 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 Definitely not that. That's like an ultra-American version or way of saying it. Schwarzenegger. Ich heiße Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, let's go back and look on this right-hand side. Yep, you see these destroyers, man? These destroyers are destroying. Are you kidding me? Migdal's gone. Tower's going down. Dude, that he is just a sniff away from this town center. Yeah. He's out, he's out for blood, man. A lot of these destroyers have really low HP. Okay. So without clicking on the destroyers, it looks super scary, right? But once you click on these bad boys, look how low HP some of these things are, man. You got to focus down the low HP ones by all means. But I think this TC might go down for Mariano. Does have masons. That's something. But still. Okay. This is looking pretty good for Tiger Boss and Crass and Groom over here on this right hand side. Grass and Groom's been on two town centers for quite some time, so he probably has. In fact, we can, I haven't, I forgot, we can actually use the chat commands here because Soup was actually observing. Okay. Yeah, Grass is looking pretty good here. He's all over the place, man. He's all over the place. Squash is just barely getting back into the game. He's not doing a ton, but he's just barely getting back into this game. Emo's starting to push, look pretty good here. Okay. The Titan is a big problem. The Titan is a big, big problem for um, the Egyptians. And the by the way, the uh, the TC did go down from Ariana. Big time bummer, man. Yeah, the Titan is a, is, that's a big problem, um, I think, for the Egyptians. I know that you can see that right here, you can see Chemo as well is going for a Titan gate. Okay, sure. Um, but since it's almost, uh, Tiger Boss almost has his Titan built, it's pretty sketchy going for a Titan at this point in time. Okay. Let's look back over on this side. Okay. Kimo's pushing. Kimo's looking good. He's pushing. I think that I think that Cloth absolutely needs to get. He get, he's got to get those um he's got to get those armory upgrades going ASAP. Yeah, this is great. I mean, Kimo even has a thundercloud shawl, right? So um those chariots against the Arcus, you know, no problem, man. No problem. There we go. The Titan is in. The Titan is in for Tiger Boss. Or Kvoth is still on 4 to... Let's see. We got 8, 10 compared to 4 and 7. It is 10 to 7 town centers. By all means, Mariano could eventually reclaim this town center, but it's 10 to, it's 10 to 7 town centers plus a Titan gate. Dude, I have no... Mariano can barely, I mean, he's not even holding this position. He's getting doubled. He's not even holding this position. Similarly, Kvoth, Kvoth is not really holding his position either. But still, it's not like Kimo is just completely bulldozing Kvoth right here. So what do they do against the Titan? What do they do against the Titan? I know that Kimo, by all means, Kimo is, you know, definitely um, going to rush up this Titan gate pretty darn fast, but still... Can this Titan maybe? Does a Titan go and just, just, you know, kill Mariano? Does a Titan go for the Titan gate? What do you do? What do you guys think? What do you do? Okay. Ooh, I like that. Converting one of those one of those catapults, I like that. Town center is well defended, but still, doesn't matter if there's a whole bunch of barracks around it. Range siege can still get in there, baby. Range siege can still get in there. That Titan Gate is up to 30. Man, that thing is going fast. That thing is going fast. That's what she said. We got a tornado on. Dude, we got a. Why is there no Chinese? Um, asks, what is your name? Blaskovich. We're playing. We're not playing the extended edition, Blaskovich. We're not playing extended edition. We're playing on the Titans expansion. So no China here. No China, no China, no China. If, you know, maybe if Retold includes China, maybe we could have another follow up turning to this with Retold that includes China. Possibly. Um, but the players who are in this tournament, they don't really play Extended Edition, so... It would be very interesting to see how China complicates everything, though. 
We have some really good China players as well. Pegasus, Darth Revan is a China player. Who else is a China player? I know a lot of players can play China, but... Victor plays a lot of China, I think. Victor, Peggy... Oh, Shadowfax. Shadowfax is a good China player. Peggy, Shadowfax, and maybe Victor. That would be a super strong China. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would be a super strong um, China team. Speaking of a super strong China team, Grass was thinking it. Grass was trying to take this town center right here, but it looks like he lost his citizen. Bummer for him. Okay. So the Atlanteans, by all means, the Atlanteans, like, sure, there's this. Oh, what happened here? What happened here? What happened here? What happened here? Was it a vortex? I think this was a vortex here or something like that. Was it a vortex? What happened here? I think a vortex almost took out that T or that Titan gate. Holy smokes, man. Mariana says he needed to make a monument on the Titan, on Mar on Kimo's Titan. Yeah, I think that's what just happened. I think it was a vortex on the on the Titan. You know, Grass and Groom has, has, oh my god, man, there's vortexes all over the place here. Okay. Okay, so Kvoth, Kvoth has officially stopped the push from Kimo. He's stopped the push from Kimo. He's got some breathing room, right? Grass is trying to go for a third TC here, okay? So we're going to have eight, we're going to have 11 town centers for the um, Atlanteans here in just a second. Compared to three, four, five, six, compared to only six, almost seven for the Egyptians, man. Sketchy. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Another vortex. Double vortex, baby. Double vortex. This is so brutal. Check this out. Check this out. 50% Titan Gate. The Arcus can just snipe all the villagers, and then the destroyers get in and just siege it down, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. What is happening here? I don't know. Yeah, this thing is going down. 100% this thing is going down. <clears throat> so that means Chemo's Titan Gate gets denied. Ouch. That had to hurt, baby. Ouch, that had to hurt. This could be the end, baby. This could be the end. Mariano is so slow at taking down that, that Titan. He's only on one town center. Grass is up to three. You know, like I said, it's three, four, five, six, six town centers to 11. This is excellent defense here by Mariano. I've not looked at this just yet because there's been so much other stuff going on. Um, but this is excellent defense here for Mariano to just stop the push from Grass and Group. Very nice by him. Very nice. Okay. But still, what the hell do you do with the Titan, man? What the hell do you do with the Titan? Okay. This gives Foth an opportunity to push in. Start looking pretty good with the palaces right in front of Kimo's base. Oh, boy. Okay. Nice upgrades for Kimo. Definitely nice upgrades for Kimo, but... Yep. Foth is pushing on the Citadel, man. Foth is pushing on the Citadel. What is Kimo? What is happening here? Why is Kimo just sending, you know, half of his army just running around the map? What is happening here? Somebody use a chat little thing. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. Citadel probably going to stay up here, at least for some time. At least for some time. Maybe not anymore. Grass and Groom with the, with the Vortex coming in. Grass with the Vortex coming in. Decent upgrades. That thing is about two-thirds of its HP, baby. Oh, boy. Grass and Groom dropping a Titan gate. All right. Chemo just lost his back town center. That Titan is brutal, dude. That Titan is so brutal. Lots of Arcus here in this Vortex. Not a ton of actual siege, you know, damage output here. Vortex is good by all means. Vortex is good. The double even. You know, there's the siege. There's the fire siphons for Kvoth. There we go. That thing's probably going down, baby. That thing's probably going down. The Hekka. Hekka Gigantes. Gigantes. Okay. There we go. Citadel gone. That 10, H that 10 extra population. Permanently gone, baby. Permanently gone. We got Squash going for a Titan himself. Alrighty then. 
this Titan gate or this Titan is still alive. That Titan could actually just waltz right over to squash and just take that shit down, baby. Thanks for the follow. Oh, hey, hard. Thanks for the follow. PF2K, I miss you, dude. Thanks for the follow. Sorry I missed you. We even have Kvoth. Kvoth is researching Secrets of the Titans. Okay, so he's gonna have a Titan as well up. Just, you know, why not? Game ain't over, so why not? Just in case. I wanna look on this front side right here. I think Mariano has done an excellent job stopping the push here. An excellent job stopping the push. Now, sure, um, Tiger Boss and Grass have both been vortexing around, sure. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have resigned while having the score lead. Now, by all means, score is not everything, but it is especially demoralizing. You say, relax, bro. It's especially demoralizing when you resign and you're, you know, have the score lead. Ouch. This was good. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm not. I'm not even joking. I agree, Rapple. Oh I agree, Rapple. Oh my God. <laughs> I agree, Rappel. Um, I think that I think that Squash had such a killer shifting sands here, right? Like he completely destroyed the main base of Grass and Groom. He took the town center. He had all those pigs, a little bit of hunt around there as well. It was amazing, man. It was amazing. But the 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 double afterwards, Grass and Groom takes the town center back. He has some villagers over here, citizens rather. He has some citizens over here. Eventually, he and Tiger Boss are able to double squash right here. Just m seconds, seconds before Mariano draw. I think these are the two barracks right here, right? Boom, boom. I think those are the two where Mariano's two barracks were. He was only able, Mariano was only in time to build like two barracks and get a couple of units out. Not enough. And same thing with squash. Not enough. To defend against the double, the counter attack double from Tiger Boss and Grass and Groom. So, very nice counter attack there, man. Very nice counter attack. Um, Squash ended up losing like a ton of economy from losing this position. That was ultra brutal. It took him like 10 minutes to get back into the game. It was so brutal. Um, so that was, and then, and then, you know, ultimately, Kvoth and Kima were just kind of duking it out on this left side, and then eventually. Grass and Tiger Boss were able to push over here against uh, Mari Mariano, which was nice. So, yeah, I think that, you know, I think that I think that that was nice play. That was nice play from the it was an excellent shifting sands by Squash early on. But it was a nice. Sorry, it was a nice counterattack by Grass and Tiger Boss to follow it up. Let's look at a little bit of the time, the timeline, post game. Yeah, grass and squash both just man, so brutal. Of course, the of course the set set doesn't really have you know the most impressive economy out there, um, but of course the Aranos player is gonna have the better economy going. Still, just took squash a long time to recover from that. You know, bummer, dude, bummer. Nice game, nice game, nice game. That means um, the Atlanteans go up one to zero. Very nice. Very nice. I know that Grass and Groom was particularly nervous about the map picks, and we'll talk more about that as um, this match goes on. But Grass was particularly nervous about the map picks. So um, for the sake of the series, it's very it has it is very important um, for for the Atlantean team to win this first game. Again, it's mega random, so it could, it's not, you know, it's not a biased map in any manner. Um, you know, and in fact, this is kind of, you know, this is a higher hunt oasis, actually a slightly higher hunt oasis, which is interesting. And they ended up taking it. Listen to that grass and groom. This is basically oasis with a slight, with, you know, a little bit more resources. Interesting. Okay, let's go into game two.
All right, everybody, welcome to Highland. Welcome to game number two, Egyptians against Atlanteans. We, um, the map intro shows a little bit of a different version of this map. We're on Highland here, and as you can see on the mini map, the team game version of this map is different compared to the 1v1 version of this map, okay? As you can see, it's uh, you got these little, we're looking at the mini map, okay? There's these little side little bits of water in between all the players, <clears throat> which produces a little path, a little gateway, a little path, whatever you want to call it. What's up, Paffy? How you doing, buddy? Anyways, um, in between all the players, including including the your teammates, right? So there's this main little spider web, this little star, this little spider web in the center with um, players usually going for docks right around this spot. Anyways, we'll look at the we'll look at the what the players are doing here in just a second, but it's a little bit of I like this map for team games. I like this map. I don't like it a ton, but for a water map, the team game version of this map is a lot better, in my opinion, than the 1v1 version of this map. Anyways, okay. So let's introduce the players. We got Gaia on the top side, Foth playing Gaia on the top side. We have Tiger Boss, aka Theris. This is Tiger Boss playing or oh oh, interesting. Tiger Boss going for Aranos. Okay. Um, here in the in the pocket, here in the blue, and that means Kronos is on the bottom side. We got Tunison um, playing Kronos. I will tell you guys one thing. Um, so Tunison, Grass and Groom subs out, Tunison subs in. I will tell you one thing. I'm very impressed with the fact that um, in this tournament, the Atlantean team, they have four players on their team, Kvoth, Tunison, Tiger Boss, and Grass and Groom, and they actually sub in players back and forth. Um, they've made themselves available. Kvoth is pretty far east, so sometimes he's had to, you know, his, his availability has been a little bit more sketchy compared to the others, but I think it's really admirable and awesome that all four of these guys have been playing um, in all of these games, and they've all, you know, been playing great and everything. So anyways, Tunison, Tunison subs in, Grass and Groom subs out. Sharing is caring, baby. Sharing is caring. caring. No, Uros, I didn't, I didn't remove the delay. Um, anyways, okay, so we got Kronos, Aranos, and then Gaia. Let's go look at the Egyptians. Egyptians, we got Kimo on the top side. We have Squash here in the pocket, playing Set. Sorry, Kimo's playing Ra. We have Squash here in the pocket, playing Set. And on the bottom side, we have Mariano playing Isis. So, that gives us Isis against Kronos on the bottom side. Isis, Kronos on the bottom side. And we have Kimo, Ra. Ra against um, Gaia on the top side, okay? similar as last time but not quite okay um this is this is particularly interesting in my opinion because you know with chronos and aranos you can do some really nice damage aggressively against the docks of the opponents let's there we go um with deconstruction with with deconstruction with valor on the oracles blah 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 all that stuff um but contrarily all the Egyptians can get some nice dock spam going. Plus, they have ranged heroes. They have a pharaoh. They have a, they have a pharaoh. They have a priest. Um, so watch the advance. It's, it's, you can defend fairly okay against the oracle spam. Okay. We have all of the... There we go. We have all of the Atlanteans are up advancing so far. There we go. We got Ta for both players. Just coming in now. Mm, Mariano's a little bit slower advancing. There we go. He's just getting his temple up now. Okay. Okay. Let's just get let's just get classical. Let's just get classical. There we go. We got the heroes, the oracles valorized. No surprise there. Tiger boss. Okay, I like this. I like this from the I like this from the Atlanteans. So Tiger boss. Uh, yeah. No, sorry. Tunison. Tunison. He what is it called? He time shifts his temple over here, and so he goes for um, he goes for the starting docks of Mariano on the main part of the water, and then um, Tiger Boss uses his oracles to go for the docks on the other side of the water. So they're going to completely take Mariano, given enough time, they're going to completely take Mariano out of uh, off of water. Mariano is just about up through Bast, is just about up through Bast, so he can get cabinets. He can probably get at least one or two cabinets out here. The oracles aren't destroying that dock quickly at all, so he can get a couple cabinets out to, yep, to keep this spot um, alive. But it is only fit three fishing ships. Nothing too impressive, huh? Nothing too impressive, okay? He is kicked off of this main spot. Very nice, very nice, very nice.
Okay. And here we go. And the drama begins. Let the drama begin, everybody. Let the drama begin. We have Grass and Groom. I like this defense from Kvoth. Kvoth goes up. He gets a Carnivora. I like this defense from Kvoth. Very nice. So, um, yeah. Uh, what's his bucket? Tiger Boss. Maybe going to lose a Citizen here if he's not careful. Yeah, there goes a Citizen of Tiger Boss. That sucks. Nice micro by Squash right there. Squash, squash shifting sands to the pocket player of um what's his bucket of tiger boss town center is down okay town center is down citizen is down you know this is not the worst thing in the world because he still has fish he still has fish so all of his citizens all of his citizens um all of his citizens are still alive aside from that one okay not too shabby but that does give that does give what's his bucket it gives squash an opportunity to send out his little units here go and try and snipe um, the citizens go try and find and snipe all the citizens of um, Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss, for some reason, already has a military barracks and a barracks here with some with some units here. Interesting. Okay. Did they play again? Asked Peffy. No, these are recorded games from earlier today. These are recorded games from earlier today. Okay, Kvoth with the by reams doing a good job against Chemo. Chemo still has plenty of docks left, you know, go and he's still got his fish bot right here. Still looking okay. Still looking okay. Squash has got fish back in here, um, back behind. Similar story for Mariano. Similar story for Mariano. Although Tunis and his goose going for the fish straight up. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Mariano does have a back town center with an amazing number of water buffalo back there. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's go back over to here to Squash. Okay. Hey, so Squash here, or sorry, we got we got Tunison, Tulniko. We have Tunison and um, Tiger Boss both doubling Squash straight up. Squash does not build an additional barracks. Sorry, not an additional barracks. He doesn't build any barracks here to try and you know to try and save his army. Did he not learn from the Mega Random from the last game? He didn't learn from the previous game. He just got doubled in that previous game, and then he got ram ranched like crazy, baby. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is where the drama begins, everybody. This is where the drama begins, okay? This is where the drama begins. So, Nemo shifting sands the those villagers from Squash back into Squash's main base. I'm going to pause the game right now, okay? I'm going to pause the game. For those of you guys, this is going up on YouTube, okay? This is going up on YouTube. So you, those of you on YouTube who are actually watching this, I have a, I have a question for you. What actually happened in this game is that Squash, okay, like I said, Squash didn't have any barracks, any, he had no defense here. So he goes, he shifting sands, tiger boss, he makes us some villagers, right? And then he has no defense. And so Tunison and tiger boss, they double him. They're going to take out the TC. Yeehaw, right? Yeehaw. Right here, before the Shifting Sands was used, we can't see this on, we can't see this on the recorded game. I've paused the recorded game. We couldn't, we can't see this on the recorded game, but um, they paused the game. Kima was not paying attention, evidently, or, you know, apparently. So they pause the game and they instruct Kimo, shift, you know, my 20 villagers back into my base. So Kimo, okay. So Kimo shifts, you know, the villagers back into the base. It saves Squash, like, you know, just about 20 villagers and the Pharaoh. Lucky for Squash. They unpause a moment later. It actually happens, etc. Okay. What is your opinion of that? Do you think that is immoral? Is it, Im Im I don't want to say immoral. It's not cheating per se. It's not cheating. I don't think we're going to go as far as saying that's cheating. But is that moral play? Is that abuse? Is it moral play? Should it be allowed? Should it not be allowed? We had a long discussion, well, a fairly long discussion about it afterwards. Um, I don't know what the right answer for this just unique situation is, but what do you think? I'm interested in your opinion. What do you think? What do you think? Anyway, so at this point in time, let's get an update on to what's happening. Squash is on two town centers. He, re he took a second town center in his base. So he's still on two town centers. He still has a couple of fish. Um, these are the, the, the Mermillo that, um, was shifted over. They're harassing chemo. That's annoying for sure, but, you know, that should go up anyway. Does he have... Okay, so he doesn't have skin of the rhino, but whatever. 
okay. Squash is doing some random stuff. Kvoth, Kvoth is taking a forward town center. Look how close that is to the water. Look how close that is to the water. Kvoth trying to go for forward TC, does not quite get it. Okay, Tunison is sending all of his units over here onto towards Kimo. Kimo is going to be on three TCs here in just a minute. Mariano, remember, is still on the two town centers. Squash is on the two town centers. Tiger Boss is re reclaiming his starting town center, also going for a second town center. Okay. Same thing with Tunison. So we got the TCs that are coming in. We got the TCs that are coming in. For the most part, the the Atlanteans, for the most part, own water. Not completely, not completely, but for the most part, they own water. I need another brew, people. I need another brew. Boys, I should train the boys to go grab me some brew. Actually, I don't think they're tall enough to get into the fridge. Anyways, okay, so Tunison and Kfoth going after this town center. There are a couple of barracks there, but still... Not really any units out just yet, aside from the Pharaoh. I would like to see those term going after the Pharaoh by all means. And no problem, Omariano uses the Ancestor's Eclipse. That delays everything from Cloth, Foth, and Tunison. Oh, they watch, they actually want to fight it. Cloth wants to fight it. He just buys a bunch of heroes and he tries to fight the, the Ancestor's Eclipse. Very nice, bravo, bravo, bravo uh, for Cloth. very nice. Okay, Tunison decides to get out of dodge, but Kvoth decides to fight it. He still needs to retreat a little bit, but still nice, nice, nice. Unethical, thank you. Yes, unethical, unethical. That's the word I was looking for it in Rodan. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If that's how you say your name, thank you. That is the word I was looking for, unethical. Okay. Over on this right-hand side... Mariano, does, is this a, this is a monument going up? Okay, very nice. Um, a monument slowly going up for um, for Mariano. He needs to get that thing up pretty darn quickly. Remember what I said in the previous game about the um, you don't really expect the the deconstructions to come in. Well, Tunison, Tunico, Tunison is um, Kronos. He can deconstruct that bad boy. Maybe go for a nice little gold starve there. Not a real gold starve, but kick him off of this gold mine, off of this forward position. Okay, there's still gold. There's still plenty of gold that Mariano could take behind his base, but still, you, you see what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying. Okay, so we have axes, scorpion men, war elephants. Nice unit composition here, in my opinion. I think this is a nice unit composition here for um, for Mariano. Mariano, this is hilarious. Now remember, Tunison builds a dock here. Okay, well, he doesn't build a dock here. He time ships a dock over here. So what actually Tunison did, since he's Kronos, the, the dock right there was built like... What, like right he, No, not right there. Maybe right there or something. Like right there. Right there. The the dock, you can time shift a dock as long as it's facing the same way that it will show up on the, you know, new position. So he does time shift over there and he's able to stop the squash from fishing. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay. Unsportsmanlike. That's another word to use, Uros. That's another word. It's unsportsmanlike. That's fair. Unethical, mm, unethical, yeah. I mean, all of the above, all of the above. It's not cheating per se, in my opinion. Is it unethical? Is it unethical? Arguable. Is it unsportsmanlike? Arguable. I think it's arguable. I think it's arguable. The whole, the whole pause, the, the tactical pause. The tactical pause. Okay. Tiger Boss is up to three town centers. Tunison is going to be on three town centers. You on YouTube? I just, uh... Thank you for the thank you for that, Peppy. Yes, I am on YouTube. Yeah, um, Mariano's looking pretty good here, man. The like, how do you effectively counter axes and elephants when you're in the classical age, man? How in the world do you do you actually deal with this? Nanra and Nanra says real time strategy with some pauses here and there. <laughs> RT real time strategy with some pauses here and there. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, with three elephants, you can go for the town center for sure, right? Mariano's up to three town centers. Looking pretty good, man. He's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good here. It's <coughs> it's mostly real-time strategy. They did they they strategize. They they made the decision to pause in the middle of the game. So it is, you know, real time. In real time, they paused the game. If that makes sense. Okay. 
This isn't a good idea. I think this is a really good idea. Squash uses his ancestors over here, which means that Mariano has the opportunity to just straight up go for uh, go for the TC. Man, the carnivora is huge. Able to, able to one shot the elephant. That is huge, man. That is that is real huge. That's what she said. Okay, Tunison Tunison's forward town center going down. Okay. Tiger Boss has got some BS going on, but not a lot. Tunison's got some BS going on, but not a lot. Okay, we got we got a nice fight over here between between Kimo and Kvoth. Okay, let's go back over on this onto this right hand side. Man, what does what does Tiger or sorry Tunison? What does Tunison do? Is he still cool? He is still classical. What in the world do you do, man? What in the world do you do against this if you're classical? I think he has another deconstruction, so deconstruction right there would be nice. But still. Okay. Maybe that's a good idea, Uros, is to pause when Locust happens and then m m micromanage every single individual villager away. That's not a bad idea, man. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so Mariano's up to four town centers and he's looking sexy, man. Ooh, I'm telling you, the Migdol, you gotta prep for that, baby. You gotta prep for that. Okay. So he's looking good, but losing that Migdol, that's definitely no bueno. He is getting doubled here by um, Tunison and Tiger Boss. He could maybe hold it with some mercenaries and with the Migdol, but with the Migdol down, I don't know if he can hold this position. Okay. So it looks like it looks like Tunison and Tiger Boss. Again, I don't know if they're going to be able to destroy this, especially with the tower there. It's a bunch of Terma. It's a lot of units right there, but it's not like these units are good for taking down buildings. So let's go back over onto the other side, see what's happening over here. Kimo has... Okay, so the battle used to be happening right here. Looks like Kimo and Squash have got a little bit of some map control. A little bit of a ground one, rather. They've won a little bit of ground, right? What happened here? Did we, did we maybe see a Scarab? That's what we had here, a Scarab. I think that's from Kimo. Yeah, Kimo with the Scarab on the town center. Very nice save in the town center. Kvoth wasn't paying attention. Okay, right hand side. Ooh, Mariana goes for Son of Osiris. That's a good play because Tunison is still classical, man. What the hell do you do? Classical age, one town center. Wait, what happened here? Wait, what? What happened here? Tunison used to have two TCs. Tunison, what happened here? And okay, and they just call it, the Elanians call it yeah, very nice. Squash Squash uses, you know, takes us the town center of Kvoth with Tornado. This was nice, man. This was nice. Like, by all means, the... This is, in fact, this is this is fairly similar. This is fairly similar to um, the Greek Norse game. The the Greek... The, the Norse, they ended up mostly winning water, but they just got pushed too hard on land. And it's a similar situation here for the Greek... Or for the Egyptians. They... They mostly lose water, but not completely, but not completely. And then they just, you know, are able to overpower on land. My back was denied by four bears like three times, says Tunison. Really? All those bears right there? Yeah, the back was denied by a bunch of bears. That sucks, bro. That sucks. Okay, oh, I gotta let's let's give the let's give the point to the Egyptians. Bravo, Egyptians, bravo. Evening it up one to one. Let me fix the position of that one. Hang on. There we go, that's good. Yeah, nicely done. This was the this was the home map pick of the Egyptians. It was the home map pick of the Egyptians, so you know, of course, they're gonna feel confident here. Egyptian Egypt is strong on this map. Egypt is strong on this map. I think there's counterplay. I think there's counterplay. I don't think it's just a straight up, you know, 90% win for the Egyptian. There's definitely counterplay. Like, for example, Mariano. Uh, Mariano getting kicked off mostly off of water. That's good. That's good play there. That's good play. Um, you know, the, the Atlanteans mostly won the middle, the middle water. It was just the land play. It was just the land play that, you know, they were a little bit lacking on. Let's check the post game real quick. Nice KD for Mariano. 
ancestors. I think ancestors played a big deal, a big difference here. There's ancestors eclipse. There's um, over on the left hand side for chemo. There was ancestors on the right hand side for Mariano by squash. I just think that um, I think that probably probably the ancestors came in at a good timing for the Egyptians. Nice. Okay, everybody, this is kind of interesting. The home map picks between Atlantean and Egyptian are actually the exact same home maps between Greek and Norse. Greek chose Highland as their home map, and Norse chose Vinland Saga as their home map. Egyptian chose Highland as their home map, and now Atlanteans choose Vinland Saga as their home map. So, as you can see, um, if you're not familiar with this map, as you can see on the minimap, the players start on these little tiny islands over on the right hand side. And then there's the, all the town centers, gold, etc. All the main, you know, the big time resources are on that main island over there, right? Anyways, let's introduce the players. We have Kimo. Uh oh, Kimo is playing set here. Interesting. They have done this one other time where Kimo played set, and I think it was Squ Squash switched over to Raw. Interesting. So we have Kimo playing set. Okay, here in the blue. Then we have Mariano playing Isis in the middle of the Egyptians the pocket, I guess you could say. It's not much of a pocket, though. Anyways, because of how the players are all lined up on their islands. And that means Squash is playing Ra over here in the green. And Squash in the green is right next to the other team. Um, Grass and Groom. Grass and Groom playing Aranos here. Okay. Next up is Tunico Tunison. Playing Kronos. And then we got Theris, aka Tiger Boss, playing Gaia. Interesting, down here on the bottom side. So Kvoth, Kvoth is subbed out, Grass and Groom is subbed in, and we have a little reordering of the players here. Very nice, okay? Okay, anyway, so right, Grass and Groom playing Aranos right on this other side of, um, or right next to Squash, who's playing Ra. Interesting. I'm gonna put on the Fog of War here so we can see who, which players are where. Okay, you do get one one detail of this map is that you do get a free starting transport ship. So you can transport your ship or your um, scouts or your scout units or economy, whatever, over to the main island without you know, without paying for the transport ship. So that's nice. That's nice. Okay, um, you know, I'm not going to talk about it a lot because I don't want to dwell on the matter, but um. Uh, there's been a lot of drama around this map. There's been a lot of drama around this map. Um, it was very strong for the Norse in their series. Um, there's Atlanteans chose it as their home map. They, in fact, the previous time that Atlantean and Egyptian played, they Atlanteans did choose this map um, for their home map, and so they're doing it once again. Um, so there's been a lot of drama around this map. And the Atlantean, I mean, by all means, Atlantean, of course, is strong on this type of map. But let's see. Let's see if the Egyptians can create some counterplay here. Let's see if they can create some counterplay. By all means, like, there's Shifting Sands possibility. There's Dock Spam possibility. There's Shifting Sands possibility. You know, Ra with the double empower, stuff like that. Isis can even get some sea, or that's set. Isis can even do some Sea Serpent type of stuff with Anubis. There's options, man. I think there's options um, for counterplay. We'll see if it's strong enough to win the game, but yeah. Hey. Oh, let me get... There we go. Now we can see the resources coming in. Or sorry, not the resources, but any upgrades and age advancements. We will be able to see once they eventually start coming in. There's not a lot that I want to say about this game. I just want to get into the classical age. Okay. Um, Squash is the first Egyptian up, by the way. He is up through um, this. To me, it looks a little bit like a second TC play or another villager rush. So far, we have seen two vill rushes from Squash in game one and game two, games one and game two. So let's see if he, with Ra, is he maybe going to get skin of the rhino and go for a villager rush on 
um, on one of the one of the Atlantean main island or starting islands? Is he maybe gonna shift over to shift over to the big island and take a town center? One, two. We have two Pta. We have two Pta coming in for um, Set and Set and Ra. Of course, Anubis for Isis, and then Prometheus, Prometheus, Oceanus, Oceanus, Oceanus coming in. Okay, I'm just particularly interested in what Squash is going to do here. Timo uses his vision. Uh, okay, there we go. And and oh, Timo uses his vision over here, and Squash decides to um, Vilra, um, shift his villagers over here against um, against Kronos. Dude, he's only 59% of the way through Prometheus. Are you kidding me? Oh, the shockwave is huge. Oh, the shockwave is huge. The shockwave is huge. That shockwave is so huge. Um, Tunison might actually be able to get classical here. 79%, 80%, 80%. One of the citizens is... Ah, there's units in this trans... There's units in this transport ship. The Carnivora. 95, I think that I think he's getting Prometheus. Oh my god, so close, so close, so close to taking that down TC down and preventing classical from actually coming in. Oh boy, man. Oh boy. I like the idea. See, I'm telling you, there's counterplay here, man. There's counterplay. The shockwave was very nice from Grass and Groom, I believe, who used it. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Plus plus um Tiger Boss. Oh, this yeah, plus Tiger Boss coming in. For some defense here, okay. What's going on around the map? I haven't really looked anywhere else on the map. Grass and Grim is dropping some shit on... Okay, okay. So actually, there's some action going on here. Mariano dropping the, the serpents. His Anubis serpents here. Trying to stop Grass and Grim from getting a solid position here on the main island. Okay. Chemos goes for a boom over here on the main island as well. Squash going for some BS over here, and he actually takes the. Oh, this is just beautiful. You see, you see, Squash. This is this is creativity, man. I love it. This is a good idea, dude. He shifts over here. He takes out the TC of Tunison. Almost stops Classical Age from coming in, and now he can take all this wood right here and fish all the same. I like it, man. I realize, and the gold. The gold is here as well. I realize wood is not quite as valuable for Egyptian to be taken, but now we're talking, baby. Now you're talking. Atriox, thank you for the follow, dude. Thank you for the follow. Let's go back to the main island, see what's going on. Tunison is... Tunison is... Woo! Those are some low HP citizens. Look at those bad boys right there. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. The uh, Tiger Boss. So I keep trying to call him Theris because that's what his name says. But Tiger Boss going for... Um, it, it's, I think this is interesting, the fact that Tiger Boss is going for... Tiger Boss is the furthest left player. I find it peculiar that they chose Tiger Boss to go for water instead of the Aranos player. Wouldn't the Aranos player go for water since his his ships can just instantly hit the enemy? Whereas Kronos is by reams, they gotta sail all the way over from the corner. I found that a bit peculiar, but whatever. Anyways, okay. This is looking a lot better. The, what happened in the previous time they played on this map, the Egyptians essentially all just shifted over to the main island, took a second town center to boom, and then um, um, I think it was Kronos who went for just the one TC fast heroic. And with Rhea play, they just went ultra aggressive, um, whereas the Egyptian went for the boomy play, and they just completely, the Egyptians got smashed. So they're clearly going for, I know Kimo has a second town center, and technically Squash does as well, but they're clearly going for a little bit of a different um, strategy here, and it's looking pretty dadgum decent, man. Look at that. Oh my god, Citizen down for uh, Tunison. Dude, you better be careful, Buster. That's 5 H. Jesus. Man. Okay. Okay, Squash is going for... This is a... Dude, Squash, this is a good idea, man. I'm telling you, there's counterplay, dude. It's a good idea. Squash goes for the wood and gold here on the star, on the starting islands, which means he's able to spam docks, cabinets, etc. Right? And he can actually fight on water. This is a good idea, man. This is a good idea. Whether or not it works, we'll find out. Cabinets are a little bit stronger compared to uh, Byreem's. I think this is a good idea, bro. I think this is a good idea. Let's see if it works. That's a big question, whether or not it works. We got Thea coming in at 86, 90% almost for Tiger Boss here. Okay. Going on water. Okay. Let's look back onto the main island. Main Island, Grassing Room's got a pretty good looking army here. 
Okay, Mariano's looking, you know, respectable himself, of course. The Slingers are pretty dadgum sick against all this Terma for sure. Kimo says, well, we had a plan here. Yeah, that's what it takes to win team game tournaments, to have, to have a plan. It's just as important to have a plan as it is to, you know, pick favorable maps, by all means. If Squash plays Raw, Kimo's set. They never drop a game, says Ragnaroks. That's an, a very interesting um, observation there, um, Ragnaroks. Tunison has a plan this game. <laughs> yeah, his plan is to not lose his citizens. Tunison still has no... Tunison still has no town center. He still has no town center, man. Well, Atlantean is definitely stabilizing. They're definitely stabilizing. Squash is looking pretty good over here, but Tiger Boss has a nice spam, baby. By the way, Tiger Boss is going for cladding. That's the that's the heavy um, heavy archer ship upgrade. Nice. So these are going to be heavy by reams here pretty darn soon. Very nice. The Kevinets, er, sorry, Squash is fighting back with the Kevinets. This is a good idea, dude. This is a good idea. This is what I'm talking about, Squash. Like this might be a strong map for Atlantean, but this is clearly nice counterplay, man. I don't care how bad you, you know, you want to, um, uh, you know, uh, talk about the map picks, but still, like, Mariano's up to a second TC, you guys have, you guys have pretty respectable armies here, right? You know, you're able to fight against, um, Tiger Boss here on water. This is good stuff, dude. This is good stuff, man. This is good stuff. Tiger Boss still doesn't have a town center. <gasps> and remember, don't forget everybody, if you didn't, if you didn't know this about this map, um, on the main island here... Um, there's these little Gaia Scraylings. It's kind of like Erebus has, you know, a couple of the um, shades and snakes and whatnot. Fields of Punishment has a little berry bushes. That is hilarious, man. That is hilarious. Okay, let's go back and look over to here. What? Mr. Gaia player, Tiger Boss, is up through Atlas. He's up mythic through Atlas. Are you kidding me? And yeah, um, our set player here is able to use all these forests right here. All the wood that um, that, that Tiger Boss, the, the Gaia forest right here. Plus a couple of the other starting um, witch my buckets, of course. So he's actually able to fight against uh, Gaia here on water. Very nice, man. Very nice. Should we call you Soup TV? I, I would like that rap. We'll call in Soup, Soup TV. Boyt TV, Soup TV. You have the same hairstyle like Boyt. <laughs> Soup TV, baby. Soup TV. Tunison, finally, you know, close to getting a TC. Finally close to getting a TC. This is looking good. To, dude, this is looking good for the Egyptians, actually. This is looking really good for the Egyptians. I know, I know by all means, the heavy Byreams are really sick, so if, here's the big thing, here's the big thing. The Kevinets are still normal Classical Age Kevinets, right? And here in just a second, Squash is going to run out of resources on this island, right? There's 2,000 gold in the Witchima Bucket in the gold mine. Okay, sure, great. You know, one tree left. Soon enough, he's going to run out of resources here, which is no, you know, that's bad news. Of course, that's bad news. He is on the main island with some villagers. He's on, you know, still has whatever, his starting TC. That is bad news for Squash. He has been fighting on water. It's amazing. It's amazing. But still, soon enough, soon enough, all these villagers are just going to be 100% useless. Basic, you know, 99% useless, just chilling on the island with no resources. Okay. Kimo's going to be on three... Wait, one... Kimo is already on three town centers, two on the main island. A third TC coming up here for Kimo. Okay. But still, we have a nice double here by Tunis and Grass and Groom. Kronos and Aranos, baby. We have a nice double here. They are medium slingers, but that's a lot of Atlantean units, baby. That is a lot of Atlantean units. Finally, a balanced map, says Scotty. There we go. Ancestors for ancestors for uh, Kimo. Ancestor for, for Kimo. And Kimo uses his ancestors behind the army, the armies of the Atlanteans. That's amazing. So those once those things spawn, they're gonna be able to get nice damage against that against that army right there. Even you can see a mercenary coming out in the mix. 
Grass Group uses a shockwave to try and slip his units out. Very nice. I like that. An implode. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. Look at how big this implode is going to be. Check it out. Look at all these units. The ancestors, the, <laughs> the class, the barracks units. This is huge, man. This is huge. Okay. Okay. Nothing's really getting sucked in just yet. There we go. This, let the sucking begin. That's what he said. Let the sucking begin. Okay. By the way, Grass has a second town center. Grass has a third town center, by the way. Actually. Actually. Come on, Implode. We're, we're waiting. We're waiting. I'm going to go look at the, the, uh, the smaller islands here in just a second. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. If the Ancestors die while they're in the implode, that was huge, man. So many units just died right there for the for the Egyptian team. So many units just died. Now look at this. The, uh, uh, Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss has got the Naval Oxabellis upgrade. So his seed ships can tar start taking out these... Um, they can start taking out these town centers, okay? So Squash is able to take most all of the gold mine. But yeah, a little bit of a sketchy position here for sure. A little bit of a sketchy position, man. Still only cabinets. Mariano still on two TCs, even though that's very injured. The Atlanteans looking good on land, baby. The Atlanteans are looking good on land. But actually, Chemo's looking good on land, man. He's got five town centers. Five, six, seven, eight. Right? Five, eight compared to three, four, five. Five, eight to five town centers total. I know Mariano might end up losing this TC right here, but still, right now we got eight to five town centers in favor of the Egyptians. Tunison's taking a TC over here, so that'll change soon enough. Okay. Bro. TC does go down, ultimately. TC does, does go down. We have a deconstruction on the Migdal. Oh, very nice by um, taking out that Chemos Migdal right there. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Chapter of the week, unbalanced maps. Okay, look at all these. Look at all these ships, man. Beautiful. All the town center. Squash has only one town center left, actually. This is Squash's one TC. Ah, just kidding. He's taking a second, a second, second town center up here. Okay. So town center down for Squash on his starting island. He can maybe... Squash is trying to transport everything over. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hopefully that transport ship doesn't go down. That could be catastrophic. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Is that how you say it, Raffle? Catastrophe. 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 Anyways, yeah, the rest of these naval, um, these heavy byremes, or heavy byremes, no, they're not called byremes, heavy, oh, they are, yeah, heavy byremes, siege byremes, that's what they're called, going for all these little, um, town centers here, this is beautiful, man, this is beautiful, let's look back on the main island, okay, Okay, Kimo's looking pretty dadgum decent here, man. Remember, the priests? A priest spam is pretty strong against a um, classical unit Atlantean. And so if he's able, if he micros the, like this, this is good. This is a good looking army for Kimo, but he needs to micro the slingers onto the Terma. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. <laughs> my God. Agreed. My God. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Oh my God. Rapple. Okay, Grass is going to be onto four town centers here pretty, so pretty soon. Okay, Mariano retakes his town center, secures it with a gold mo uh, migdol, rather, and a monument to the soldier. Very nice. He's Isis, so that, 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 that thingamabobber right there, that monument is blocking god powers, okay? I want to see what's going on here. I want to see what's going on here. Chemo's up to six CTCs for crying out loud. Six TCs, and he's up to Horus. He stops Grass from taking that town center, which is nice. Okay. Okay, Mariano is able to make, defend a little bit against these Siege by Reams down here. Okay, Grass has still got a TC here. This thing is still, you know, nothing so far. What else is going on? What else is going on? This is this is Squash up here. This is Squash up here. He's got a lot of bills. He definitely has a lot of bills, but he doesn't have a lot of population because he's only at the one town center. So Squash definitely played his role well here. Um, and it was a good idea taking the taking one of the Gora, Gaia forests fighting on water. That was a good idea, man. That was definitely a good idea. Sheltie is Welsh. Sheltie is Welsh.
Grass and Groom gonna lose a whole lot of buildings here from the tornado. I don't know what that was right there. That building was right there, like a temple or something? Manor, TC, couple of racks going down, very nice. Welsh punk, is that a music genre? That's the same thing that I thought it was. <laughs> Where's the other ancestors? Right here, we have another ancestors from the Egyptians. The Atlanteans are looking pretty sketchy at this point in time. They're looking pretty dadgum sketchy at this point in time. I think it's a, let's see, I wanna look at who, let's see, Tunison is not heroic, Grass and Groom is not heroic. I think the, I think the Tunison and Grass and Groom definitely need to get heroic. They definitely need to get heroic. Tiger Boss is still sitting on one TC here. Oh, dude, man. That was a huge locust right there. It only, you know, since there's so many citizens, it just it dispersed all of the total HP damage. That was nice, man. That was nice. Okay. Is Chemo's up to seven TCs for crying out loud. I really think that Chemo maybe should give one or two TCs to, <coughs> to Squash and Mariano. Otherwise, it's like... You know, there's Mariano taking another town center, I guess. You got to give your town, you know, you get, you want to have all of your teammates have a whole bunch of population. Right now, Kimo has, I don't know, I can't do the math in my head right now, but Kimo has a whole bunch of population, but you also want your team to also have a whole bunch of populations as well. Okay. Is Mariano going to get this TC up? It seems like three, those three, man, those three Mermillo are just barely, there it goes. Town center goes up, they're on 11 TCs, and the Egyptians take the game. This was the home map of the Atlanteans, and the Egyptians take this game. The Egyptians go up two to one, baby. Two to one. That is a big time win right there. That is a big time win. Squash was going on and on and on about how this is a free win for Atlantean. Free win with Atlantean. Free win with Atlantean. They win the game and he continues on. Free win with the Atlantean. I'm going to give you some crap, Squash. I'm going to give you some crap. I'm telling you. It's not all about the map picks, man. It's not all about the map picks. In a, in a, in a team game tournament, like in any tournament, in any tournament, when you know what the map is, man, you can prep, you can prep strategies. And I think this was a well-executed strategy. I think this was a well-executed strategy. Um, Mariano, Mariano went on to land, land first on the main island. Um, you know, this was a long time ago. He used serpents. He went barracks first. Blah blah blah. Squash shifts over. Bill rushes. Takes the takes the takes the Gaia Forest. The Gaia Forest is able to give him enough resources to fight on water. Just look at the mini map. Look at all the fish that they have. Look at all the fish that Kimo and Squash have. Are you kidding me? Right? Kimo goes for the boom to back it up. Boom, boom, boom. That's a triple attack. The boom, the land, the water. Sick, man. This was a well-executed strategy. This was a well-executed strategy by the Egyptians. Dude, I'm telling you, it's not all about the free win, the free win picks, dude. I'm telling you. Well done by the Egyptians. Well done by the Egyptians. I think they deserve it. And I'm gonna tell you something. I know that yesterday I was talking a lot to um, everybody, fucking everybody, about the map picks. And I know that Mariano and Squash both prepared this strategy. I saw you guys prepping this. I know that you got, you know, on Voobly. I know that they were prepping this. So it paid off, dude. It paid off, man. Well done. Well done. Well done. This is exactly what this is about. It's not all about complaining about all the, you know, oh, whatever. I'm not going to go on and on and on about that, but nice KD for Chemo, nice KD for Squash. You know, even Mariano had a decent KD considering he was making barracks units. This was well played. This was well played and this was well executed by by the Egyptians. I wonder if maybe the Atlanteans, they did what they planned to do. They did what they planned to do. But the Egyptians, I think they, I think the Egyptians prepped and they countered it. Well done. Well done, Egyptians. Well done. Well done. Just kidding, wrong one. Sorry, 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 sorry. I misclicked, I misclicked. Let me do, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again. Let me do it again, I'm sorry, let me do it again.
Alrighty, everybody, here we go. We are on um, Moat. I know that, that that map intro was a little bit short, but hopefully with um, with the Fog of War revealed, you can look at the mini-map to see what the map is like. So there's a square of land here in the middle, and then obviously there's fish. There is that little bit of fish. There's that little sliver of water around the exterior with a, not a ton of fish, but there's a decent amount of fish here, okay? And then around the perimeter of the actual map, there's a little bit of wood, a little bit of gold, a couple of relics here and there, okay? Yeah. So, interesting little situation here. Of course, Egyptian, well, let's let's introduce, let's introduce the teams real quick and then we'll, we'll jump into talking about the map and whatnot. So we have Mariano here in the, whoops, Mariano here in the pink. He is playing Isis on the right-hand side. Here in the teal, we got Set Squash. Squash is back to Set. He swapped over to um, swapped over to Ra there for that Vinland Saga game. Now he's back to Set. Okay, which means Kimo in the green. Kimo is um, playing Ra. Okay, Kimo's playing Ra. Now over on the other side, we got Grass and Groom playing Aranos. We have Tiger Boss playing Kronos. And we have Kvoth playing Gaia. Okay, so that means Gaia in the yellow on the left. Gaia against Ra. Gaia against Ra. Right-hand side, we have Grass and Groom. Aranos. We have Aranos against um, Isis. Aranos against Isis. Which leaves Kronos. And set in the pockets. Okay, in the pockets. Not 100% sure where, but they're on the floor. Um, okay, let's get back into this game. So obviously, this map is going to be strong. Here's what here's what I'm thinking about this map. Okay, this is a predetermined map. All right. Um, obviously, Egyptian is going to be strong on this map because of the dock spam. Okay, let's reveal the fog of war actually. Um, Egyptian is going to be strong because of the dock spam, but there's not a crazy amount of fish on this map. You have to make you have to build a lot of docks to have properly safe fish. Part of the reason is because um, each little spot of fish is three, or sorry, is only two, rather than three, two. Okay, it's only two fish in spots. Now, the, of course, the, the dock spam is going to be strong, but it's not like you get a huge advantage compared to if there was all three fishing spots, for example. Okay, on top of that, on top of that, just like what we saw on the Highland game, we could see almost the exact same thing on the Highland game. So on the Highland game, we had the we had the Kronos player exactly. We had the Kronos player doing some. This is an interesting position for um, him for Tiger Boss to shift his temple. Okay, but yeah, you could get the the temple shift with the Oracle, the you know the Valorized Oracles that gives you an opportunity to take out the docks, all of the docks of at least one player, maybe even more than one player, and boom, they're off fish completely. Very peculiar, actually. Tiger Boss and Grass and Groom, they don't even bother going for fish? What? Hang on a second, hang on a second. We have Prometheus, Prometheus, Leto, Top Ta. That means we're missing um, Mariano. We're missing Mariano, who is going to be up hopefully soon. Probably going up through Bast. Okay. Yeah, why would Grass and Groom and Tiger Boss not go water? Can you not advance? Would you? Wouldn't you play this like? Wouldn't you play this like? Highland? Wouldn't you play this like Highland? Okay. There's a monument to the villagers going up to prevent any type of deconstruction and shit like that. Okay. Tiger Ball's going for an immediate second town center. Same thing with Kvoth. Both these guys going for immediate second town centers. How about Grass and Groom? Grass and Groom Arana with Aranos going for Mamillo and Terma. Interesting, okay. So they don't even try. So they don't even try going for the water. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 14 fishing ships. You see what I'm saying, though? 14 fishing ships. So Kimo, 1, 2, 3, for five five docks for the 14 fishing ships i mean that is it's it's not like that's a small amount of you know gold it's a decent amount of gold you have to you know invest in okay 
Uh, Kfoth is actually going for the three town centers. Interesting. Squash is going for a forward TC. Trying to get some counterplay here. Very nice by the Atlanteans. Trying to get some counterplay. Going for the Sphinx. Again, the Heroized Oracles. Not quite enough to counter animals plus to Pharaoh plus, you know, two myth units. Not quite enough. Okay. So grass is just, you can see on the mini map, grass is just streaming units out across the map. Mariano's got a second town center. Kimo's got a second town center with an amazing hunt patch right by that TC. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Tiger Boss is even going for a third town center. What in the world? What in the world? I think this is too sketchy, man. I think this is too sketchy. Exactly like what Ragnarok said, you can get, you know, you don't, <laughs> you don't even need to defend the fish. You just didn't, I think it's a mistake that red and blue are not going for fish. I think it's a mistake, man. I think it's a mistake. Hopefully these guys practiced on this map. Hopefully they practiced on this map, but I still think it's a mistake not to go for fish. Especially Tiger Boss. Tiger Boss is the pocket player. It's one thing for a flank player to not go for fish if you think you're going to get kicked off of it immediately, but... Uh, you know, the, the pocket player also not going for fish? I find that peculiar. I found that very peculiar. I don't think it's... Uh, we'll see if it works or not, but all of the Egyptians have almost half of their side of water full of fish. Right? There's just a couple of others that um, Squash can take, potentially, but... It's I think that's I think it's a mistake, man. I think it's a mistake. Let's see what they can do though. Let's see what they can do though. They do have an initiative on land here. Um especially with the Ranos and the, the really fast Aranos units. They definitely have um an advantage on land. So let's see if they can continue that advantage. Maybe keep the Egyptians off of their forward town centers. There are forward town centers here. There are forward forward town centers here. So exactly. Excuse me, Kvoth with the Gaia player. Kvoth can absolutely lush the forward TCs, prevent the TCs from going up anytime soon. That's I like that, man. I like that. I like that. I like that. We got Sekhmet coming in for Chemo. Okay. Barracks for Mariano. Yep. Okay. There we go. Finally getting some fish going. Talk about his. Again, I find it very peculiar, but okay. But okay. Grass going for a forward TC. I like that. I like that. I like that. Again, you wanna keep you wanna keep the enemy off the town center. Okay. Cloth trying to stop trying to stop Squash from getting this TC, but Squash goes for it right at the nick at the right time. So he tries to lush the town center, but he doesn't quite get it, man. He doesn't quite get it. A little bit of a bummer. In fact, it would have maybe been nice to just drop a granary or something like that. Drop a granary or whatever it's called, economic guild. Drop an economic guild that builds faster than the military barracks. Okay, so Squash gets its third TC. Nice play there. Nice play there, getting the third town center. Hemo, on the other hand, is in a very different situation. He is on two TCs with Citadel, extra population, the two town centers, hit loads of fish, now, by all means, Kvoth, the Gaia player, he has fish himself, right? He has fish, he has um, three town centers himself, he's got some nice military barracks action going on. Nice, nice. Right, Tiger Boss has got a nice, you know, he's got, he's got, um, what's it called? He's got three town centers himself. Grass has a second and soon to be third town center. Okay, okay, okay. And the big question is, you know, can they get heroic at good times? Can they get, you know, we got Rhea coming in for both um, Tiger Boss and Kvoth. So that's going to be nice to get some stronger units. The Arcus, potentially the, um, what are they called? The, whoa, I just lost the the word. The, the word just disappeared from my head. What is it? Contarius. There we go, Contarius. What is up with the bears? Why are those bears going after the Lodger? That's peculiar. Okay. Mariano going hard on that forward TC. Looks like he's going to get it. Yeah. With that many villagers, 15 bills and a pharaoh. Yeah, he just races up that TC. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Since Grass is on three town centers himself, he's just barely getting to three TCs. I think it'll take Grass a long time to get heroic. Um, I think it'll take him a long time to get heroic, especially since he doesn't have fish. 
Well, I would, I would say that this is a really sensitive position here for Mariano. Even though he does have Ancestors Eclipse, where is it? Well, he has Ancest he has Eclipse, not yet Ancestors. But this is a really sensitive position. So if I think if Grass and Groom took water, if he did go water from the beginning, you know, he definitely could have a nice heroic time. Same thing with Tiger Boss. They could have her nice heroic times. There could be a palace there, you know, in several minutes. That could be super sick. I think it was a mistake for Red and Blue not to go for water. Okay. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice. Um, chemo. It's gonna take chemo some time to get this to get this um, witch my bucket back to get that TC back. Squash is just you know going on a mission. We're not sure exactly what that mission is, but he's bringing his retarded board. You see that thing? <laughs> okay. Well, so this is, I think this is good for the Atlanteans that they have, they're on nine town centers. All the Atlanteans have their TCs and they have a TC advantage um, over here against Chemo. Now, by all means, Chemo, you know, Chemo could go up Mythic. He could go up Mythic. There's Neftis. Uh, sorry, there's there's Ancestors that could be used. Ancestors Eclipse as well. I didn't even see this happening. Grass and Groom going for the main towns, or sorry, the forward town center of Squash forces the defensive ancestors eclipsed by mariano i think this is yeah this tc is definitely going down nice here comes the contarius the itch, uh what are the the Atlanteans are looking pretty good here man oh this palace this palace is a big dick play man Shlunk right in the front um right in the face of squash squash just got what is it oh what is that called oh I, there's a dutch word i know like two words in dutch schneeuwhoogte that's not the word i'm looking for there's a word in Dutch where it's like you slap like a guy slapping his dick on another person's face. What is that word? Is there any, are, do we have any Dutch people out there? Anyways, that's what that's what we got here. Yuck. Right on that right on the face of Squash, man. Oh boy. Okay. What is going on back here? Squash has got some random harassment back here with some, you know, with some little, um, with some little barracks units. It's annoying for sure, and it's it's a little bit painful, but it's not the worst thing in the world, you know. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, back on the front, back on the front. Squash drops a migdol. Sick. There's a good number of Contarius here, man. Good number of Contarius. Oh, brutal. Oh, brutal deconstruction. I'm telling you. Deconstruction. Deconstruction. There we go. Forces the ancestors from Squash. Okay. Okay, Mar or sorry, um, Squash is still doing a whole bunch of weird bullcrap back here against uh, Grass and Groom. Nice. Okay, over here, Mariano. Mariano already waste wasted. He already used his Ancestor's Eclipse over on the, you know, defensively. But he's able to push here against Grass and Groom. Grass and Groom looking a bit sketchy here. Grass maybe stayed on that. Grass maybe went a little bit too aggressive here with Tiger Boss. Now he's getting pushed on his gold mine over here. Getting pushed on his um, front side here. Oh boy. Over the boy. Okay. He took out very nice to take up the siege towers. Two of the siege towers. Let's see if he can keep this TC up. I'm gonna go here and just a ooh, bravo, bravo, bravo. Chaos on the er not chaos trader on the siege tower. Very nice. Let's see if he can keep this TC up. We're gonna go look at Chemo and Kvoth here in just a minute. Shockwave, baby, shockwave. TC looks like it's going down, especially once those elephants get back onto that T start attacking it again. Oh, brutal. Oh, brutal. Town center goes down, man. Brutal, brutal, brutal. And Mariano's just going for it, baby. Mariano's just going for it. Both has got a fourth town center coming up. What is this? We have Son of Osiris, okay? Son of Osiris, yes. Okay, Son of Osiris is in for chemo. He is on two town centers. Kvoth is maybe going to get to four town centers. We'll see. A good number of Arcus. Remember, the Arcus have pretty decent range, 20 range. So that is more range than Son of Osiris. Of course, the Son of Osiris has the chain lightning effect, but still, they do slightly outrange the Son of Osiris, okay? So I think, yeah, Kimo absolutely. He's getting amygdala, but he absolutely needs catapults, man. He absolutely needs catapults. Just like on that first game on Mega Random. He needs catapults and to keep his son of Osiris alive, baby. Oh, boy. Okay, Tiger Boss has got a fourth town center right here. He actually took the forward town center. Very nice. He takes a forward town center of Squash. 
Squash is in an awkward position, man. He's in a really awkward position. Town center and a palace. They're right in his face, baby. Okay. Of course, Grass and Groom still does not have his second town or his forward town center up. Okay. What was this? An implode? Is Son of Osiris going to get sucked up here? It's a weird word to know in Dutch, says... <laughs> it is a weird, weird, weird word to know in Dutch. I have a handful of buddies from Dutch. My old AOL buddy, Rich. Man, I miss him. He's a good guy, man. He taught me that. It's like Waffen something or something like that. Chemo, careful, buddy. Chemo needs to be careful with the son of Osiris, man. Foth is looking amazing right here. Foth is on four town centers. Tiger Boss is on four town centers. Sure, Grass and Groom is only on two town centers, but it's Mariano on three, and they're able to double, right? Like uh, Tiger Boss and Grass and Groom are both able to both able to double uh, Mariano here. So I think the Atlanteans are looking exceptional here in this game. Son of Osiris is only is uh, like halfway dead. The Magdal is down. The Atlanteans are looking incredible here. Incredible. Okay. Let's see if Grass can retake his town center. That's going to be super clutch if he's able to get that TC back. Whoops, sorry. Horus coming in. Okay, Horus. A couple of tornadoes could definitely shift things up. Especially here. Kvoth, maybe one or so tornadoes here could definitely slow down Kvoth over on the left-hand side. Maybe even reclaiming this forward town center for Squash. Although that might not be necessary because we just have catapults on it. Yeah, Tiger Boss is having to focus over here um, against Mariana with Grass and Grim, which does allow Squash and Chemo the opportunity to come back in here and take take that out. I definitely would have liked um, Tiger Boss to just defend this just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Grass and Groom is fine over here. Grass and Groom is fine over here. That is a good play by Chemo to take that down, though. Very nice play right there. Son of Osiris still alive. Okay. Horus is almost in. Thea is almost in for Grass and Groom. Looking good here, Grass and Groom. <clears throat> this is looking really good for the Atlanteans, man. This is looking really good. Now, I know that they just took this TC down, but the Egyptians don't have it yet. This TC may be going to go down for Mariano. He's going to be on two TCs. Are you kidding me? This is looking amazing for the Atlanteans. There goes a TC for... There goes a TC for Mariano. Okay. Son of Osiris still alive, which is barely. Squash trying to sneak a Migdol up to help um, secure that settlement. Very nice. I think he'll probably get the Migdol up, although that's very nice to have the palace there. Very nice by Tiger Boss. Very nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Kvoth is looking amazing here, man. Kvoth is looking amazing. I'm here in... Dude, Son of Osiris is toast. Son of Osiris is toast, man. Emo, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, Kimo. Kimo has had a failed Son of Osiris bout in several of these games. Several of these games. Hi, hi Toby. Hi, Toby. So Squash is going to be back onto three town centers. That's good. Mar but Mariano's on two, baby. Mariano's on two and Grass and Groom. These guys are pushing hard, baby. These guys are pushing hard. Is Squash seriously going to go for the Rhinos? The, ri the Battle Rhinos once again? Just like the Battle, you know, the Battle Boar. We got the Battle Rhinos, the Battle Hippos. For upset. What? Vor- or sorry, yeah, Vortex, Vortex, Tiger Boss with the Vortex on Mariano's back TC. Very nice. With all this, all these Hekkas, a couple of Siege units, Fire Siphons, they could absolutely take out Squash's second town center as well. Maybe even go to the main town center of Mariano um, as well. This is looking amazing for the Atlanteans. Are you kidding me? This is amazing for the Atlanteans. Grass and Groom is going to be on four town centers here. Uh, hang on a second. How 
in the world is it possible for the Egyptians to come back here? Look at Kvot. Look at all these palaces from Kvot. Palace, 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 palace. We just got palaces all over the place. Kimo's down to a uh, TC. He does have the Citadel, so this is, you know, 10 extra population that it gives you. But, you know, it's four, seven, ten. It's ten town centers to five, six, six plus ten population. Are you kidding me? Now, Grass and Groom does not have Fortified, although he just barely clicked up. That's something. Okay, sure. This is looking amazing for the Atlanteans, man. Are you kidding me? This is amazing for the Atlanteans. How is it possible for the Egyptians to come back? How is it possible for the Egyptians to come back? They need trade routes. Uh, in fact, uh, let's look at the trade. 90 gold per caravan for squash. That would be so much better if he was able to trade with this TC, which is Mariano's forward TC, right? Who else? Uh... 78 gold per caravan for chemo that's not you know that's nothing impressive mariano's getting 87 i mean that's decent i guess but still for for a team game trade route you get it you get it if you if you didn't know this if you trade with your team's town center not your own your team's town center there's i don't know what the exact boost is or the buff or whatever but you get more gold income you get more gold income from trading with a teammate compared to trading with yourself. So with team game trade, that's no bueno, man. That's no bueno. Okay, fortified TCs, four fortified TCs for Grass and Groom. Uh, Grass and Groom, I think Grass and Groom absolutely needs, he needs trade or fishing ships or something here to supplement his four, his four town centers, right? That's a lot of population space. He needs something to supplement that. He's looking pretty good over here against Mariano. Looking pretty good over here against Mariano, but still, those those chariots are sick. Full, full, what is it? Full copper weapons, full copper upgrades. Mariano's pretty good at holding, honestly. Did you guys see on the Mega Random, on that Mega Random game? Looking pretty darn good here. Please, no. Please don't do that. Anyways, okay, Squash still, Squash barely holding his forward town center. Repairing it with seven villagers, but no pharaoh. Dude, look at all these fire siphons from Kvok, man. Are you kidding me? What is this? Some random chariots. Okay. Forward town center goes down by Squash, man. Four Squash's forward town center, I guess. It goes down, baby. It is four, eight, eleven town centers to six. Six plus ten population. Six plus ten population. Are you kidding me? Osiris is incoming for Mariano. That's amazing. We got Helios incoming for Grass and Groom. He's going mythic himself. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. I'm just looking to see if there's any counterplay here for the Egyptians. I mean, there's a couple of... <laughs> sure, but still. Spicy chat, indeed. Indeed. Servers call me GG, man. Seriously, it is 8, 11 town centers, man. 11 town centers to 6 plus Citadel. Wow. Atlanteans are looking so good here, man. Atlanteans are looking so good here. Osiris is in. Osiris is in for Matt. Uh, what's his bucket? Osiris is in for Mariano. Let's. I mean, that'll help for sure. But still, we got Helios coming in for Grass and Groom. He's going to be mythic pretty damn soon. It just seems like the Atlantean team is just pushing harder and harder and harder and harder. Right? Like they're the the. Wait 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 wait. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? It just seems like the Egyptians are barely slow. Oh, he's already half HP. Jesus. Nice micro by grass and groom. Getting the, like I said, those Arcus have nice range, man. 20 range is pretty dadgum good. Son of Osiris is doing nothing. That nice power spike is halfway dead, man. Are you kidding me? How can the Egyptians come back? I just don't know. I don't understand. How do they come back? There is gold around the outside, remember? There's gold around the outside. That's nice for the Egyptians. Very nice for the Egyptians. They lose map control, but they're still able to hang on here. It's 
Agabus, this is going to be 12 town centers eventually to six. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is not what I expected from this game, man. This is not what I expected from this game, especially since um, Tiger Boss and Grass and Groom did not go water. At least Tiger Boss did, did not go water until later, right? What can the Egyptians do, man? What can the Egyptians do? Uh, mercenaries? Mercenaries? Like there's no there's no talent centers in range of water. There's no talent centers in range of water, so what do you do? Mercenaries? And it just seems like the longer this game goes on, the more ground, the more ground the Atlanteans pick up. The more ground the Atlanteans pick up, man. Careful with Son of Osiris, dude. Careful with Son of Osiris. Nice micro there, grass, grass. Immediately focus on that Son of Osiris. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Here's some garbage that's going on over here. Cloth. Cloth's just getting engineers for stronger fire siphon. That's good. Man, it's hard to kill Egyptians, dude. It's definitely hard. How did... Wait, what? The Egyptian team just took the score lead? Hang on a second, why? Okay, so Kfoth has most of these army upgrades. How about Tiger Boss? Tiger Boss is lacking in armory upgrades. Okay, sure. How about how about Grass and Groom? Grass only has copper. I mean, okay. There's definitely counterplay here that the Egyptians can try, but this i mean this is this is this is atlantean's game to lose here this is definitely atlantean's game to lose here man especially with cloth's position man he's been pushing for so long on four town centers look it's four 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 it is 12 town centers to six and a well five in a citadel six plus 10 hp compared to 12 tcs are you kidding me what do you do here? What do you do here? Grass needs to get some fire siphons out, I think. He needs to get some fire siphons out to start taking down this town center of Mariano, right? Gotta siege down this TC, man. You gotta siege down this TC. Even though Son of Osiris is still there, man, it's barely hanging on there. Barely hanging on. I'm telling you, as time goes on, this could be something. If they don't pay attention to this, you know, Squash could... Snipe a town center here, snipe a couple of town centers of Grass and Groom. That could hurt for sure. Egyptian can still win, says Aqua. I mean, I don't see it happening, man. What are they going to do? Go for a Titan Gate? What are they going to do? Go for a Wonder? I guess maybe. Is this a Wonder game? Oh my god, is this a Wonder win? Dude. Okay. I think that the Atlanteans, they need... I mean, Kvoth is doing a good job with his fire siphons, but I think that Tiger Boss, especially Tiger Boss, Tiger Boss is Kronos. He is, he's got good, he's got really good um, uh, siege. I think the Kronos especially needs to get the fire siphons going, man. Definitely needs to get the fire siphons going. There we go. Pushing into Squash's... Let's see, is this the main town center of Squash? No, it is a forward town center of Squash. Okay, a forward town center of Squash, okay. There goes a Fire Siphon, sure. That is a ballsy Titan Gate by Kvoth. It's so far forward. That is a big dick right in the face, right? The big Dutch dicks. We gotta get count. Count on count. Who else is Dutch? Um, Hagrid. Of course, you know, who else would know that word? What other Dutch people do we have? All the yai people, spamped. How do you say that, spamped? If you're still here. Grass is losing his palace here, man. This is a little bit peculiar. I really thought that Grass would have... He'd be able to get fire siphons. Okay, he is auto-queuing si fire siphons. He is auto-queuing fire siphons, but he doesn't... For whatever reason, he just hasn't been able to pop any out. And Mariano is still holding on to this town center. He's like... He's slapping, you know, Grass back, man. What is going on here? 
Squash has random spearmen running around the back of the base. <gasps> Tornado! <gasps> is it gonna, is it, it's gonna kill. Yeah, it's gonna kill the Titan Gate. And there we go. Very nice. Chemo picks off the Titan Gate. Okay, the catapult actually does the job that squash with tornado and then the and then the actual catapult. We still have Tiger Boss and Grassinger both have Vortexes to use. What are they? I, I don't think they necessarily need to take a to use a vortex. I don't think they necessarily need to use it. Hang on a second. What is wait? Tiger Boss just lost a town center. Tiger Boss just lost his forward town center. Kvop is gonna lose his forward town center. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's squash. We're looking at Kvop's resources right now, right? He's on 180 population. Where's his R... No, 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 no. Tiger Boss is not even staying popped. Why? Mariano's pushing back against Grass and Groom. Is that wonder in range of water? Tiger Boss is getting his fourth town center back up, but the catapults are there. That thing's not going back up. Three, six, ten. It's ten to six town centers plus the, the citadel population. Titan Gate for Chemo. No way. No way. Grass and Grimm still has copper weapons, man. He's got plenty of resources. He's just not getting his armory upgrades. There's bronze shields that just came in. So he does have copper plus bronze shields and champion, of course. How about Mariano? Mariano's on full iron. What about squash? Where's a, where's a unit from squash? Squash is close to iron. He's, yeah. Tiger Boss. Full bronze. There's the wonder. It's about a third of the. Uh, three fifths of the way there. Two fifths of the way there, rather. No. Almost halfway there. Whatever. Emo is... Oh my god. Emo here in just a second. Once he destroys this temple, the guy Lush will be gone and he'll be able to reclaim his third forward town center. His forward town center, his third town center. Atlanteans. How are Atlanteans... Can Atlanteans deal very well with a Titan Gate? Grass and Groom has slowed the push down right here. Okay, he and he and uh, Mariano are still fighting, baby. They're still fighting. Grass finally has iron shields, but he needs to get his 
uh, armor and attack up there as well. Mariano has enough gold to make a lighthouse around the edge of the map. That town center is going up for chemo any second. Look at how hard he's pushing against Foth right now. Squash is retaking his forward town center. Oh my god. Mariano is still going hard over here against Grass and Grimm, so maybe this is a possibility for the Atlantean team. What is happening here? What is happening here? Titan is up for Chemo. Where is it going to go? I guess to the Wonder. Not that they're in a huge rush. Yeah. The settlement is going to the TC is going up for Kino. We're still on seven. We're still on ten, two, five, six, seven. It's going to be ten to eight town centers here in just a second. The Wonder is done. The Wonder is done. This time, okay, so... Atlanteans against Egyptians, they went for wonder. They've gone for several wonders, the Atlanteans have. Okay, trying to go for some defense. Tiger Boss going for a Titan Gate. Outside gold, we can't gold starve, says Grass and Groom. Here comes the Titan, man. Here comes the Titan. They're even, Chemo's even prepping a little siege works over here. Towards the left side of the, of the Wonder. More Secrets of the Titans coming in for the players. No way, dude. No way. No way. No way. Chemo's on to three town centers. And he's rolling, baby. He is rolling. Scarab, Mercs, Catapults. Just shredding these Atlantean buildings. He even has, what's it called? Titan Shield. There's another Titan. This time for Squash. No way, dude. No way, dude. Shifting Sands over to the Titan Gate. Okay, sure. That, I guess Chemo feels confident enough. <laughs> Chemo feels confident enough that he can take out the Wonder without without a Shifting Sands. Tiger Boss uses his Vortex to try and keep his to try and keep his thingy alive. His Titan Gate. The Scarab is full HP. The Titan Gate is down. We got double Titan Gate from Mariano and Squash coming up. The Titan for the Titan for Chemo, main ba main town center for Koth, Both is down. The Wonder's dead. The Wonder's dead. There's another Vortex. This time Grass and Groom trying to save the Wonder. It's I mean there's too much HP. There's too much HP right for the of the. Is there? He needs to heroize everything immediately. Wow, that was... Jesus, that was a big... That was a really big, uh... Vortex right there. Kfoth needs to come in and repair his wonder. He needs to come in and repair his wonder. That Titan Gate is going down. Here comes there. Uh, here comes uh, Tiger Boss. Here comes Tiger Boss with a handful of hero units. Dude, you gotta repair that thing, man. He's gotta repair that thing. But there's two more Titans coming out as well. There's two more Titans coming out as well. What about Vortexes? There's two Vortexes for Grass and Groom. After, if if they keep this up, if they keep the Wonder up, maybe Vort he can Vortex over here and stop the, whatchamacallit, <laughs> these Titan Gates. Is the Titan going down? They might actually do it. They might save the Wonder. I think they're saving the Wonder. They're saving the Wonder. They're saving the Wonder. They're saving the Wonder. Grass and Groom has five fire siphons. Let's go to his point of view. I don't think... Okay, so over on this right side, this gives Mariano an opportunity to um, to push back and maybe take back this town center of Grass and Groom. Grass and 
Grass and Groom Vortex is over here. Don't you have to vortex to the Titan Gates? Don't you have to vortex to the Titan Gates? Otherwise, this Titan is going to come up and the Wonder's just dead. Right? Six minutes left. There's six minutes left. Who cares about this town center? Who cares about the town center? There's another Titan out, man. It even gives you line of sight. He could have vortexed here to at least destroy Mariano's Titan and maybe slow down Squash's Titan. Grass just lost a TC. Still on three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Compared to three, six, seven, eight. Okay, small TC advantage for the Egyptians. Not for long, though. We're going to be on even TCs right here, I think. Oh my god. There's the shift. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There's the shift. Oh, squash. Squash with the shift on all those uh, witch buckets. Wonder goes down. The wonder goes down. The Titan is still out for Squash. Plus, Mariano is going to get his Titan up eventually as well. It's really slow. He's only got 12 bills on it. It's really slow, but whatever. Oh, my God. And the Atlanteans call it. The Atlantean team was up 12 to 6 town centers. And somehow, the Egyptians hold on. I don't even understand how. Suddenly, Tiger Boss lost a town center. Suddenly, Kvoth goes for the wonder. And it was like Kvoth just abandoned everything forward. He goes for the wonder, and that's it. What a comeback from the Egyptians. What a comeback from the Egyptians. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whoops. Let me add the three to one. Three to one for the Egyptians. They take moat. Should they have taken moat? Look at this. Look at this. Look at the settlement's timeline, man. Mariano was down on one town center at one point in time. What a comeback by the Egyptians. What an amazing comeback from the Egyptians. I can't believe that actually happened. When they were all down, every single one of the players was in a 4-2 TC position. Either from the two or the four position. I guess at least Kimo had a citadel, so that again, that gives him 10 extra population. That's something, but still. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Well played to the Egyptians. That means the Egyptians win it 3-1. to one. The Egyptians are going to go to the finals, the grand finals, against Norse. And that means Atlanteans go against Greek for third place. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. That was huge. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. <laughs> My god. My god. I couldn't say it better myself, Rapple. I couldn't say it better myself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe they came back and took that game. I can't believe they came back and took that game. I'm not even joking. If you're watching this live, I know I'm of course I'm gonna put this up onto YouTube. For all of you guys who are watching live, I'm not even joking. I knew the result was 3 to 1. People said it in the chat earlier during the Greek and Norse series. I knew it was 3 to 1. I got 4 recorded games. 3 to 1. I got 4 recorded games. But I'm not even joking. When it was 4 to 2 TCs for all 3 of the Atlantean players, I thought 
I was just confused. I was just confused. Like, how is it possible? How would it be possible for them to come back? I know Egyptian is strong. You can use your mercenaries, blah, blah, blah. But... I... Uh, I it's just... I can't believe that. I can't believe that, man. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. There was no reason we went moat in the first place as Grass and Groom, but we played well, I guess, so it was close. Grass, why didn't you and why didn't you and Tiger Boss go for water? Would that have changed your advance time? Would that have changed anything about the game? Aside from you having fishy go. Would that have negatively changed anything about the game? If you go for fish? I don't understand, man. I don't understand why you guys wouldn't go for fish. The reason why I'm talking about fish is because A. They didn't uh, pressure your fish at all. It was free to take and you guys didn't take it. It was free for the taking. So you guys could have aged up faster. You would have had taken town centers faster. You would have boomed faster. You would have got mythic faster. You would have got upgrades faster. Everything would have happened faster if you also had fish. Nice tournament maiden. It's very unique, says Punkstar. Thank you for the nice words, Punkstar. It's nice to hear something nice, you know, amidst all the f retarded vitriol. I don't understand. I don't understand. Despite that, despite that, despite that, despite the fish, the lack of fish for Tiger Boss and Grass Group, despite that, despite that, all three of the Atlantean players were in a 4 to 2 TC position. What more could you ask for? With mercenaries, they're able to hold? I know, but I, I know. I know. You're able to hold with mercenaries, I get it. Chemo had, you know, the Citadel, so he had 10 population. I get it, I get it. <laughs> I don't understand what happened. I don't understand what happened. Somehow, Grass and Groom on the right-hand side, Grass was Grass was fighting in the base of Mariano for like 15 minutes. In the base of Mariano. Well, yeah, I mean, Ginger, you're right that, you know, the, the Atlantean team, they, the Atlantean team needed their armory upgrades. They were fighting like iron weapons against copper and bronze. That makes a big deal, man. That's a big deal. Despite that, you're still up four to two TCs. Now, of course, like, you know, Kimo had the Citadel, the Isis player had, you know, the three additional uh, population per TC, so that's six extra pop, so that's 16 extra population, but you're still down four to two. Exactly, Matrius. You advance the same time with fish, but like nine fish more. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about nine because it's all, you know, they were all two, 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 you know, eight or ten or whatever. Six. Still, if you get just a little bit of fish, you advance at the same time. Everything is the same. But you have a stronger economy. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand how Egyptians held that game. Amazing hold by the Egyptians. I, I don't understand. <laughs> 